Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. In the last video, we were just hanging out with Clanker here in Clanker's Cavern. And now that we have pretty much explored um, Clanker, we're going to go ahead and we're going to explore his cavern. Har. Har har. Yeah, I'm not funny. I tried, but we are going to explore the cavern. Um, now that everything is done in Clanker, we're just going to do a lot of swimming underwater and we're gonna go through all of these tubes and pipes underwater we're gonna get a couple more jiggies the rest of our jinjos and our notes and etc etc there is actually one thing that I forgot to do while we were inside clanker but I think now I'll do it last I think we'll just do the rest of the level I'll just do the one quick thing I forgot at the end of the video and then we will be ready to leave. This should be actually done in this video. I wasn't sure if it was going to take me two or three videos, but thankfully I'm graced with um, the over 15 minute time limit, and it's a lot easier to get things done when you don't have to worry about time, that's for sure. Alright, so I'm just kind of going pipe by pipe in a circle. Some of these pipes connect, those two connected, so I gotta make sure not to go in those. Because you can get really lost if you go in a pipe thinking you haven't already gone into it when it connects to another pipe. This one's glowing green, so hopefully there's something interesting in here waiting for us. Hopefully nothing bad. Like radioactive material. Or something. Oh, crabs! Snippet mutants are we. Jigsaw is czars. Fight us, you must. Oh, you just can't get away from the crabs, can they? Jesus, they're everywhere, and I am dying a lot. Holy crap. I wonder if I can hit them with eggs. Just knock them over. Ah, stupid snippets. Ah, ha, ha. These guys really aren't that strong. There's only... You only have to hit them once. Unlike the crabs in the last level we did. The one crab in particular I'm thinking of is the one that... You had to um, defeat when you were in the sand castle area. He took two hits to defeat, but all the other crabs only took one, so. His beat and snippet mutants are we. Yours is prize. And we get a shiny jiggy. Well, thank you. And congratulations to Banjo and Kazooie, who have successfully wiped these snippet mutant crabs off of the face of the planet. Because we will never see them again, so. Hopefully you enjoyed their S's, because I will no longer have to do that voice. Not in this game, anyways. Alright. Aside from me nearly dying, let's get the hell out of here. This is actually on a separate file, because I had some issues with the last one I tried to do on my main file, so... Thank God for backups! So I was just rushing around trying to do a bunch of stuff, and I did not realize how low my health was. Generally a pretty good thing to look at before you do a recording, that's for sure. There's also some stuff in those pipes. The only one down there that you want to go through is that one. The rest of them just have eggs and feathers, which isn't too important to go through in my opinion. I gotta go through this last pipe, though before we continue on, because there's a bunch, if you guys can see that, there's a bunch of platforms surrounding Clankern as well that we have to go on to collect some more stuff. It's just a collect-a-thon in this game. It's just a collect-a-thon of very, very, very shiny objects and fighting things with googly eyes. That's a good way to sum up this game. Another jiggy for us in one of the pipes. And that pretty much takes care of all the pipe exploration. Both of the pipes that are on the sides of the level, the ones that we just went into, as well as the pipes on the bottom of the level, we don't have to go down there again. So we're pretty much out of the water at this point, so that's good. We're gonna go climb up on some of these platforms. You have to be on Clanker's fins to get to these ones on the side, because they're too high to, for you to reach otherwise. So keep that in mind. Just Climb up on Clanker's fin, and 
And you can climb up here, there's some pipes for you to grab onto. And then there's some stuff on the walls, so we've got some got some platforming going on here. We can get our final Jinjo. And we can't even see the Jiggy Dance! Oh, that's disappointing. For the 8th Jiggy. And come down here for some eggs. There's an extra life down there if you want to do that. A couple extra lives hiding in this level too. Climb back up. And then we're gonna get a honeycomb piece. There we go. Climb all the way up. Get some notes too. Actually, I have to do the talent trot or I'm gonna slide. And if you hop over here, there is a jigsaw. Or jigsaw, excuse me. Honeycomb piece. So the honeycomb pieces in this world are actually incredibly cl close together. There's one there, and then in this pipe here, there is one hiding. This one gets people, I think. This one got me for so long, I could not figure out where to get this as a kid. It was only until I started watching Let's Plays that I was like, Hey, that's where that, that elusive honeycomb piece is that I couldn't find for decades when I was a kid. Haunted my dreams. Well, there it is, if anyone's curious. So we've gotten the honeycomb pieces. We don't have to worry about those anymore. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to climb up onto Clanker's tail here, which is pretty cool. you got to be really careful, though, because he moves around quite a bit. It's a little disorientating to move around. Let's get up on the edge of his tail here. And jump. You can either hit this with... Um, like a beak attack, or you can use your eggs. I prefer to use eggs. There is actually a pipe right below you where you can fall down, but it's just a lot safer to use eggs, and you don't have to use a lot of them, and... I mean, eggs aren't uh, totally difficult to find, as you might have been able to tell already, so... Get these notes. You can also get that mumbo token. No transformation in this level, just like in the last one, but there's still a heck of a lot of tokens for us to collect, so... I'm also collect the tokens while you can, it's just less you have to worry about in the last bits of the game. Then you really don't have to search for mumbo tokens anymore when you know you've already gotten all the transformations, which is kind of a nice feeling. You just see mumbo token and you're like, no, I don't, I don't feel like it. I think I'll just pass that up. And then we're gonna do the classic platforming and get a couple of more collectibles. This level I find is a lot about timing if people haven't noticed with the jumping and the hoop mini game we played and shooting Clanker's teeth climbing up on his body across that very very thin pipe things like that. That's kind of why I like this level. It, it, just, it just feels really unique to me. I couldn't tell you why. But as a kid, I was one of those people that didn't like this level, so... I guess I can speak and say that, you know... Join the club! Clanker did scare me as a kid. We're almost done on this level, guys. Gonna go up and use the same jump pad we used for the honeycomb piece, except we're gonna go the other way this time. Some notes for us to grab. And there's also another mumbo token. The final six notes and the final jigsaw piece are in Clanker. The little bit that I had missed... I had climbed on top of his little blowhole, but I hadn't actually gone into his blowhole. You can do both. So if you go inside, you will find the grunty switch for this level, which will raise up her beautiful eyeballs. Uh, you can do this without the Wonder Wing, but I like the Wonder Wing and I think it looks really cool, so we're just going to go ahead, we're going to go through here until my golden feathers run out. Ah, uh, yes! Made it! Found all 100 notes, didn't get sliced up, and we get all 10 jiggies. Alright. You did it. Pat yourselves on the back, Banjo and Kazooie. Especially Kazooie, using her wings, man. She's gonna have some strong wings by the time she's done. And then the blowhole just drops you back down into this area, and then you can swim out the gills if you want, or if you hadn't learned Bottle's move yet, 
to get through the faster saw blades, it, that, that's a perfect opportunity to do so. You're kind of supposed to do it in that order. Do the slow blades first and then go through and learn the move, the Wonder Wing, and then go through the fast blades. But I did things in a little bit of a backwards order, as I so often do. And now that that is done, we are free to leave! And that is what we are going to do. Everything is collected. If I pull up my screen, you totals. I've gotten all 100 notes, 10 jiggies, both of the honeycomb pieces, just under a half an hour of playtime. And as you can see, we also have a pretty good collection of jiggies and mumbo tokens at this point, so... We are just rocking our way through this game. We're going to be making our way to our fourth world. I think I'll probably open it up while I'm here. Might as well. That is if I'm able to get out of this world. This is one of the worlds that is a little more difficult to get out of because it's really, really hard to just position yourself so you can actually jump right into this area here. But there we go. Goodbye, Clanker's Cavern, and hopefully Clanker is going to be okay without us. We left him to get some fresh air, so he should be alright. If you guys remember this pipe that we had opened earlier, before we entered Clanker's Cavern, we can swim, and this is actually where another one of the pitchers are for the next world. So they're they're also starting to hide these a bit more. It's a little sneaky. Well, Gruntilda dis. When Tootie is a big lump, I've just the frock to hide her rump. Okay, that was actually half decent. Now that we have 25 pieces, let's go ahead and let's put all of them in. And we're going to open our next world, which is Bubble Gloop Swamp. So that sounds rather interesting, a swamp level. We're kind of not really changing themes much. A gruesome, sort of dirty, disgusting garbage level to a murky kind of swamp, so we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna swim past this mine guy. And we're gonna make our way to the next world. We need to break through our next note door as well. which is over here. The lair hasn't gotten that big yet, so there's only a couple places we can go. If you haven't noticed, there's a note door up here, and we need 180 notes, so definitely surpass that by now. And if we go through here, we will be able to get to our next couple of worlds. I'm going to stop it right here, and in the next video we will continue onwards grabbing more jiggies, flying through some more worlds, and seeing more of Banjo-Kazooie's awesomeness. So, thanks for watching everybody, and I hope that I will see you next time.